Hey guys, it's Shannon and Paul. And today we're here with the Dungeons and Dragons Collectors Bag Clip oh, Collection. Awesome. Pretty excited about this. So these look great, especially if you're a Dungeons and Dragons fan. It's true. Here are the characters that we can get in this collection, um, including two exclusives. I think I know what that is, but I'm I don't know. I'm not sure. Paul will have to tell me if he thinks he knows what that is. Um, I have an idea. There are some really cool. Uh, back clips to collect here. Yes. So we are going to open these till we find all of them or run out of packs. Sounds good. So I think Paul's going to put our display stand in. Display stand. I'm going to give him a whole bunch of packs and we're going to get started. So go ahead. You can go first. All right. Out of the visible ones, I want to get Acerac the Lich. Ooh. Yeah. He's scary looking. I want the red dragon. Oh, I have this the cleric. The paladin. The dwarf paladin. So, very cool. That is a smooth-skinned dwarf. Usually, they have <laughs> they have big beards. Yes. The women and the men dwarves. Yes. Yeah. Um, also, the cape. Kind of neat. Again, a cape is not an item a dwarf usually wears. Because, you know, they flow on the ground. Um, but that's a cool figure. But so, when you're a paladin, you need a cape. That's true. That's true, you do. Because you're a goody two shoes. No, you're paladin. not. Yeah, you are. Paladins are lawful good. They are literally. But they're not goody two shoes. Goody two shoes. They follow the rules and they always stand up for the right thing. I follow the rules too. Am I a goody two shoes? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> you're a goody two, Shannon. Because you usually don't wear shoes. If I can help it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Dwarf Paladin. I like the, I like the Warhammer. Which right. is a whole different game. Yeah. So I want the red dragon and the half elf ranger okay. because I, not in Dungeons and Dragons, but like in other games like um, World of Warcraft and stuff, rangers are good. Yeah, yeah, you like. I like hunter. Yeah, you like yeah, ranger. It's a hunter in World yeah. Warcraft, but yeah. Okay, here is the human fighter. All right. He is all marked up. He has been knocked around a little bit. Yes, he has. <laughs> Got some so, battle damage. Yeah, he's fun. He has a big long sword here, and then he also has a dagger like strapped to the back of his leg, which is pretty cool. Ooh, I like his shoulder pads. It's like an eagle head. Yeah. Caw-caw! That's cool detail. That's funny. So our cat Jack is sleeping right over there off camera. You can't see him. But when Paul cacawed, Jack jumped. <laughs> it scared him. Alright, so human fighter. Alright. Next up. Oh, it's a duplicate of the human fighter. He's still beat up. He is still beat up. Maybe, Again. That, maybe that's a doppelganger taking his place. Trying to impersonate him. Oh, okay. This is the tiefling rogue. Nice. Or tiefling rouge. <laughs> Works at the makeup counter at the department store. He's a... He's a uh, shopper at Sephora because yeah. he's part of the VIB club and he's a Rouge member. There you go, a Rouge. He spends a lot of money every yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. I have a whole skincare regimen at night. <laughs> I apply it with a pitchfork. I'm not sure, but I want to say to be a Rouge member, you have to spend $1,000 a year there. That does not seem like much. It's, it, it, but it's a lot of money if you think about per month what you're spending on makeup and skincare and hair care and stuff. It is, but I know what some of the stuff costs. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, so it, it is a lot of money, but it, it also isn't. If it makes you feel any better, I've never been a Rouge member. That does make me feel better. <laughs> All right, so I like the armor that he's wearing. Um, this is a cool looking figure. Now, it's got the tail. Now, I am used to more the more classic Dungeons & Dragons um, you know, character creation where it's like basically human, elf... Dwarf. He's like, I'm classic. You know, Stop talking. Them. I'm classic. Yeah. So, you know, tieflings, like, th that, that's newer. But still cool. I like that you have the options. All right. Oh, no, Ooh, I yes. have the owl bear. The owl bear. Caca. <laughs> I don't know what an owl bear is, but I hope to never find out. Part owl, part bear. Yeah. But it's it's got the body of a bear and I, the strength to bear hug you, I along with the head swiveling action and night vision. Oh, now that's terrifying. Yeah, owl bear. That's owl all bear. we're saying about the owl bear. Yeah. Owl bear scared. <laughs> owl bear don't care. Ooh, the beholder. Looks like he's decorated for Christmas. He is. So the beholder is awesome. It's an orb that floats around with a huge mouth, one single eye. 
in the center of its head, and then Christmas lights. ten different eye stalks, all with different magical abilities or magic canceling abilities. Uh, Christmas it, it is a fearsome foe, and this one is a holly jolly behold. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Holders as a creature are usually paranoid and xenophobic. They don't like outsiders. Me either. No, <laughs> just kidding. Oh, hey, the red dragon. Red dragon. Woohoo. He's really cute. He looks like he's doing tricks, like he's sitting pretty or something. He's doing yoga. Oh, he's a yoga dragon? Yoga dragon. Wonderful. Look at his little dragon toes. Little yep. claws. I like the red dragon. Now, are red ones, like, more evil? The most more evil of angry? the dragons, yeah. yeah. So, they're, so they're, they're the largest of the evil dragons. They, they grow the largest. They also are... Let me think. Are they lawful evil or chaotic evil? They're evil. I know that. I'm yeah. evil. Yeah, they're evil. <laughs> and they love treasure. Like Paul. Yeah. Not evil, but loving treasure. Uh, here you go. Need a check strip. Thank you, Shannon. Check for traps before we open it. Yes. Looks good. Might need to make a saving throw here. <laughs> Little D&D humor for you guys. All right, another Holly Jolly Beholder. Okay. Good game. A Tiefling Rouge. <laughs> One more try. Ooh, oh, ooh, the nice. half elf ranger. I like her. So yeah, this is a cool character. I love the the green. Uh, it's got a cape. It's got green armor, probably leather armor. I like that it's etched and decorative. Has the bow that is traditionally the weapon of the ranger. And then of course they are also very good with swords as well. That might be a boy ranger. It could be. But it could be a girl ranger. It could be whatever ranger you want to be. That's yeah. a girl ranger. That's me. Right? Okay. That I'm could be. That you got, the, got the long brown hair. Yeah. So elves are usually have very delicate features. So yeah. Be easy to confuse the male and female elves. Oh, we're putting you. Oh, yeah. You can stay with the dragon. That's my pet. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Came to dragon. All right. Oh, another dragon. Another dragon. Oh, the Demogorgon. Demogorgon. La. Yep. Scary. They are scary. Yes. Now, that's a different Demogorgon from Stranger Things Demogorgon. Yes. Well, okay. They both have the same... They're both the same both creature icky. type. Both icky. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. This one, especially with its mouth open. Yeah. It really wants to get you. Look at the big nostrils they have. Yeah, it looks like a baboon nose. This one's staying by the beholder. Okay. I don't want it up by my... By my ranger okay. figure. All right. There we go. The Demogorgon. Do you need packs? Oh, you uh, I will in just a second. Here. Okay, uh, I have a Demogorgon also. Ooh, more. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. All right. You oh, have exclusive this... Is awesome, awesome, awesome. Exclusive A. So this this statue of uh, of this creature or deity or whatever was on the cover of the first Advanced Dungeons and Dragons guide, maybe the Dungeon Master's guide. So it was a big statue, and then you had all the little like characters like climbing on it. One person trying to pry the gem out of the eye. Scary. It was cool. I mean, it was one of those just iconic images, fantasy images that you can immediately imagine, like being in this spooky temple with this big statue. And you're trying to get this huge gemstone out, and something bad's going to happen. Of course. So very cool. I love the teeth of the mouth. The nose is neat. I like the like furrowed brow, and then, of course the big gemstone eye. That's oh. a cool one. Like being the Temple of Doom or something. So we have nine. Nine. So we are looking for exclusive B and then your lich. Oh yeah, the lich. And that's it. All right. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, nine. That's right. All right. So, owl bear. Let's just go one and one. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the lich. Nice. There's the lich. So he's awesome. He has a staff, like coursing with magic necromantic power. He's got uh, more 
power stuff going over here, the purple. He's got tattered clothes, and then he has withered away to just a skull. It's like, hark, intricate adventures. Make sure to moisturize at night. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll end up like me. He's blurry. Join the Sephora Rouge program. Why is he, he so is blurry? blurry. Everything's I don't know. blurry. He brought bad, bad mojo. Bad juju. Yeah, I don't oh. know why I care. I don't know. Let's see. That's weird. Go into focus. Let's see, we'll go into focus. There we go. Try it again. There, there we, go. we are. Okay. Now you can All see right. him better. Okay, I don't know what happened there, guys. Don't know what happened either. Sorry about that. All right. Again, heed my warning and join the club. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are just looking for exclusive B. And this is not it. Nope, my Tifa Rouge. Club member, number one. Oh, 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 I got the other exclusive. It is a 20-sided die, or dice. Um, okay, so it has the D&D ampersand, dragon ampersand which I just learned yes. that that's what it was called, um, as the number one. Oh, no, no, that's number 20, so that would be a critical hit. Number one's on this side, that would be a critical fail, if you use those rules. And then, of course, it has all the other sides. Now, this, this is actually a little bit out of proportion, I feel like, because these triangles are slightly different than these. Yeah, but... But, you know, it's not... Picky. I'm going to be picky. And I like the little tag right there. That's awesome, and that completes the set. All right, there's the complete collection of Dungeons & Dragons Collector Bag Clips, the original series. So I'm actually really excited about these. Dungeons & Dragons has had a real resurgence in popularity over the past few years. Um, they're actually going to do the Saturday Morning Cartoon Bag Clip series coming later this year. So I'm really excited about that. Yeah, that'll be neat. All right, Shannon, which one of these did you like the best? I'm going with the Half Elf Ranger. Half Elf Ranger. Yep. Right there. All right, that's a good pick. I'm going with the Holly Jolly Beholder. <laughs> that's my favorite. How about you guys? Which one of these did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. That'll make you part of the PS Story Reviews crew, where I'm hoping every roll of the dice is a critical hit for you. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.